Hello friends, how are you? Today I am going to tell the story of a new most popular movie. Whose name is, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Now let's move on to the story of the movie. In the wake of assisting with saving the world from Thanos, life has been going perfectly for Scott Lang. He is enjoyed and regarded in his old neighborhood of San Francisco, and has even composed an effective journal. Things are likewise working out in a good way for his sweetheart Expectation Van Dyne, who presently runs her own organization and is utilizing Pym Particles to help the world, as well as her folks Hank Pym and Janet Van Dyne who are only glad to be brought together following Janet's 30 years caught in the quantum domain despite the fact that Janet actually won't discuss her time there. The main bone of dispute for Lang is that his Cassie, who is presently living with him in trust, has been captured at least a few times because of her cooperation in fights. After Lang and Van Dyne rescue her, the two have a gentle contention where she blames her dad for partaking in his distinction and not really effectively help the world now it isn't under a prompt danger. She additionally coincidentally infers during the discussion that she has her own super suit, albeit rapidly attempts to disregard it when her dad inquiries further. They head to the Pym home to eat, and the discussion goes to a gadget that Cassie and Pym have been dealing with, a quantum satellite. They make sense of its intended for attempt and convey a message into the quantum domain to attempt to lay out correspondences. Janet goes nuts when she understands that somebody could convey a message back and requests it be closed down, but the gadget winds up collapsing and sucking in the five, alongside certain insects that Pym had been probing to build their smart. The Pimp Van Dyne family are isolated from Scott and Cassie and land in something else altogether of the quantum domain to the two. Scott and Cassie show up in the quantum domain. Scott figures out how to save Cassie from tumbling to her demise prior to going up against a union called the Political Dissidents as Trust and Pym are directed through the quantum domain by Janet, who later carries them to Axia to meet a close buddy. Scott and Cassie play out a custom to comprehend the political dissident's language, learning of a man who figured out how to vanquish what was once the home of the political dissidents. After gathering Janet's companion Krillur, Krillur has the ruler's gatekeeper assault Janet's family members, driving them to get away from in Krillur's yacht. The political dissidents are likewise soon enduring an onslaught by the Watchmen and MODOK, whom Scott and Cassie find out is, in all honesty, Darren Cross, who is currently distorted from the Yellow Jacket suit's obliteration and has been left with a gigantic head yet little appendages requiring him to utilize a drift seat. Insect Man makes an arrangement with Kong the winner. While Scott is captured and compelled to make an arrangement with the man named Kong, recovering the multiversal power center, Janet clarifies for Trust and Hank that Kong the winner was a researcher likewise caught in the quantum domain who endeavored to fix his time seat just to have Janet damage his flight since she understood from his boat's motor that he had obliterated a few courses of events and took innumerable lives, and hadn't really crashed in the quantum domain as she'd expected yet was banished there. As subterranean insect man, Lang recoils into the expanded, exploded multiversal power center, contracting it with the wasp's assistance. Since they defy him, Kong takes the power center from them, overcoming subterranean insect man and the wasp and accepting Janet with, him as M.O.D.O.K. crashes Pym's boat. Kong and Subterranean Insect Man battle. Kong clarifies his starting point and his arrangement for frustrate the Committee of Kangs for banishing him to Janet as Cassie avoids imprisonment and liberates the political dissidents. Subterranean Insect Man and the Wasp meet Pym, joined by the more intelligent insects who have likewise headed out to the quantum domain. Cassie intrudes on Kang's transmission to Axia, advising all inhabitants to battle against Kong. Telling M.O.D.O.K. to kill Cassie, Kong is stood up to by Monster Man, it Axia's middle to approach. The political dissidents and the occupants of the quantum domain additionally assist with overcoming Kong, notwithstanding losing to his assaults. Cassie can defeat M.O.D.O.K. furthermore, advises Cross that he has the ability to change and doesn't need to be a dick for his entire life. With Insect Man, the Wasp and Hyde endeavoring to fight Kong, Pym calls his insects which had shown up in the quantum domain hundreds of years before the people and fostered their own general public to occupy him. Persuaded he has been acting terribly, Cross forfeits his life as a legend in impairing Kang's force field he had made, permitting the insects to go after him with Lang precariously proclaiming Cross a justice fighter when Cross inquires. Janet opens a gateway back to Earth until Lang, the last individual to return, was impacted away by Kong. Kong endeavors to kill Lang close by to hand battle, 
however is sucked in by the mutilating power center by Trust's help. Glancing back at the observing political dissidents, Lang and Van Dyne leave the quantum domain. Presently back home, Lang proceeds with his cheerful life and organizes a phony surprise birthday for Cassie because of him missing so many. Lang momentarily thinks about Kang's words and stresses that he may not be dead or the entryway could now be available to the ones who banished him, yet chooses not to harp on that for the present and spotlight on his more distant family. Accepting the banished Kong has kicked the bucket, the board of Kang's calls each Kong variation in the multiverse. They examine that the Vindicators might need to be managed as they're contacting the texture of the multiverse as well as were even ready to apparently kill one of their own. In the 20th 100 years, Loki goes to a show no time like the present with Mobius M. Mobius. The show being that of Victor Ideals, Mobius isn't stressed while Loki is scared. So, that's the whole movie friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe my channel for more interesting and top rated movies.